Tesla Cam. I hope you're satisfied. The next video shows a severe traffic collision. Viewer discretion is advised. Aaron was using autopilot in his Model 3 down a tollway in Colorado when he approached this semi-truck going about 60 miles per hour in the right lane. Suddenly, the semi merged into Aaron's lane. When it hit Aaron's Tesla, the glass from the passenger side exploded throughout the cabin and all over Aaron. The impact sent Aaron off the road where he swerved to avoid the cable barrier. After yelling into his phone for a while, the truck driver came over to ask Aaron if his airbags had deployed. Aaron learned later that this was a question from the truck driver's insurance company, who was trying to determine whose fault the accident was. In the meantime, Aaron was stuck in the Tesla with the doors jammed shut. After first responders pried the doors open, Aaron was taken away in an ambulance. Aaron says that a year after the accident, he's doing a lot better, but not without a lot of challenges. Unfortunately, the Tesla was a total loss. We can see here the right camera hanging loose from the car, and it reminds us of something out of a Terminator movie. Terminator. Ryan was driving his Model X in Winter Park, Florida when he stopped for a red light. Unfortunately, the car to his right didn't stop. The driver said after the accident that she had no idea if the light was red or not. Ryan sent this footage to the victim and showed it to the police. The red light runner was found at fault and cited appropriately. On a return trip from Arizona to Colorado after a weekend race, Jeffrey stopped to charge at the supercharger in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Instead of sending him back onto Highway 40 to continue home, the Tesla's navigation took him down a local street before directing him to the I-25 on-ramp towards Santa Fe. As he approached the turnoff to the frontage road before getting onto the highway, Jeffrey noticed someone walking down the sidewalk carrying a bag in one hand and something else in the other. Just as he was driving by, they threw a rock at his Tesla for no reason. The rock struck the side view mirror, barely missing the windows and body of the car. Unfortunately, the mirror was destroyed, and the plastic cover near the mirror was also damaged. Jeffrey immediately stopped and called the police. Unfortunately, police didn't respond in time to apprehend the attacker, who took off across a field. The total cost to repair the damage was about 550 US dollars. Jeffrey had to pay 250 US dollars out of his own pocket, and his insurance covered the rest. Jeffrey says that next time, he's not going to follow the built-in navigation. Okay, it's time for us to tell you about a new trend we've been noticing. We're calling it the Honda Bump. Bobby was sitting at a red light in New Jersey in his Model 3 when the driver behind him seemingly let his foot off the brake and rolled into him. Bobby turned into a shopping center parking lot to inspect the damage, but the other driver just kept going. Fortunately, there wasn't any significant damage. Hashtag Honda Bump. Daryl was at a red light in Maui, Hawaii, waiting to turn left when a lady in a Honda pulled up behind him. Can you guess what happened next? No, 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 no! That's right, another Honda bump. Somehow she managed to roll right into Daryl's Model 3. After the light turned green, they both turned left before pulling over to assess the damage. The front of the Honda was undamaged, but Daryl's bumper had four tiny impressions from the four screws of the Honda's license plate. The damage was so minor, Daryl decided not to take the time to report it to his insurance company. With a smile, he told the Honda driver to have a great day and reminded her that texting and driving don't mix. Hashtag Honda Bump. This Honda Bump is a little different than the others, and more severe. Aiden was coming home from work when this Honda that looks like it's already been in a few accidents pulled out in front of him.
Aiden had no time to stop and ended up crashing into the side of the Honda. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries. Lloyd had parked his Model Y at a public parking garage to go to the gym. When he got back to his car, he found this Sentry Mode event waiting for him. A Kia pulled up next to his car and a man got out and started looking in his windows with a flashlight. That's when Sentry Mode automatically flashed the headlights and displayed a warning on the screen that everything was being recorded. Lloyd sent the video to his gym as well as to the security that protects the parking garage. Lindsay had only had her Model Y for a week and was driving to work in the Wallingford neighborhood of Seattle, Washington. These residential streets have speed limits of 35 miles per hour. The impatient driver of a gray sedan cut in front of her in an intersection to make a left turn from the right lane. A few blocks later, a Ford turned onto the street in front of the sedan. Initially, the sedan was able to swerve to miss the Ford, but then he lost control and hit the Ford before speeding away. Lindsay's first reaction was to chase the gray car to get his license plate number. She pulled out her phone and was about to take off after him when she realized that her Tesla cam had recorded everything. Lindsay pulled over and told the Ford driver that she had the accident on video. She then retrieved the footage while he called 911. They were able to give the plate number of the hit and run driver to the police right away. And Lindsay gave the victim a copy of the video before leaving. Lindsay sends her thanks for the fun channel and says she's excited to be a part of the Wham Bam community. Thanks for sharing, Lindsay. Ken was driving his Model 3 North on I-17 out of Phoenix when the Jeep in front of him experienced some sort of catastrophic failure, possibly a problem with the differential. Ken braked hard as shrapnel flew and various vehicle fluids coated the road in front of him. On the right side camera, we can see a large piece narrowly miss the side of the car. The rear camera shows the car behind him also braking hard and nearly hitting another car in the left lane. Ken says his Tesla had white seats until this happened, but he's got it all cleaned up now. Do you have any idea what happened to the Jeep? Drop a comment and let us know. Daniel's father was driving his Tesla when he overtook an F-150 in the left lane and safely merged back into the middle lane with plenty of space. For some reason, the Ford driver didn't like this. He immediately accelerated to cut him off and brake check him. He also flipped in the bird, which can be seen in the video if we zoom in a little. Speaking of birds, here we have some turkeys doing their best to activate sentry mode. <sighs> Seriously, people will do anything these days for 15 minutes of fame. I guess they're inspecting themselves in the car's reflection? They must be surprised that they survived Thanksgiving. Speaking of Thanksgiving, Russ was driving his Model 3 on Thanksgiving Day when he was shocked to see this BMW driver passing him safely. Then an Infiniti driver decided to thread the needle from behind and ended up lane splitting between Russ and a Subaru on his right. Autopilot reacted at the last minute, swerving to the left to avoid a collision. Russ adds that he can't understand why some drivers refuse to pass properly on the left. Brandon caught this meteor with his Model Y in Texas. We hope your wish is granted. Sherry was waiting at a red light in her Model 3 when she felt a sudden impact by a car that crossed the double yellow line to pass her so they could enter the turn lane. If we play it back in slow motion, we can see the damage on the Chevy that hit her Tesla. Let's listen to her account of what happened. So he just went right around me and just went right to the left turn lane and I had no idea whether he was going to stop or not. So. I also crossed the double yellow, went through the incoming traffic, and went behind him. And there's no sound recorded by the Model 3, but I, here I honked at him a few times so he would know I was behind him. Sherry followed him through the intersection. Fortunately, he pulled over to talk. Back to Sherry. You're not supposed to park here either. There's a red curb, but there's nowhere else to park. So and then we get out and... Uh, 
He comes and talks to me, says, hey, I think I just bumped your, we just bumped mirrors. And I get out, look at the car and, and said, nope, that was way more than the mirror. Here we see Sherry taking a picture of the damage. Clearly, this is more than a minor bump. They exchanged contact information, and he also told Sherry he's a law graduate from UCLA. For weeks, Sherry couldn't get a hold of him. He never returned her calls, and he ignored her attempts to contact him at the bar he works for. It wasn't until Brian Thompson, an actor in Los Angeles, posted an interview with Sherry on his YouTube channel seeking help in finding the man that he eventually contacted her with his insurance information. After Sherry sent the video to his insurance company, they agreed to pay over 10,000 US dollars to repair her Tesla. While on his way to work one Sunday morning, George was driving down 495 West in his Model 3 when he hit a puddle of water and started hydroplaning. Fortunately, the car stopped short of hitting the concrete barrier. George also sent us this photo of his license plate. We're not sure if he got it before or after his Tesla's traction control saved him from a major accident. Paul was waiting at a red light in his Tesla. When it turned green, he was about to accelerate when he saw this truck that plowed right through his red light like a freight train. Morgan decided to have a little fun with his Model Y performance in Las Vegas, Nevada when he approached this red light with two Chevy Corvette C7s in front of him. When the light turned green, he floored the accelerator until he hit 60 miles per hour, at which point he eased off the pedal. Morgan says the Corvette drivers looked happy with the result. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends I'll drive diesel, I must make amends.